Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. Hey guys, you want to come in with another battle replay here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the land of sieges. We do have a 3v3 siege here on the settlement of Ankyra. Town center for Ankyra is right there. So there's your wacky smiley face. Let's take a look at the armies. First, we'll start off taking a look at the attackers. Uh, Carthage here first being commanded by Paradox. And he has brought four units of late Libyan hoplites, four Libyan infantry, three units of the late Carthaginian hoplites, Two African pikemen. His general is an African war elephant. Pretty interesting. Uh, he's also brought four units of the Libyan Peltast as his range, and he does have one giant ballista there. One of them actually already being taken out. Then we will take a look at the two Arverni forces over here, one of them being commanded by Nitric, the other one being commanded by Kelly Sawada. And there's a bunch of chosen swords and Celtic warriors, probably some Osworn back there. I see some Levy Freeman. I'm going to guess that there's Gallic Hunters here as well, but towers are getting close to the walls, looks like. Uh, let's take a look at the defending forces. We'll start off here with Misesely being commanded by Jacob22, and he has brought five units of Desert Legionnaires, four Numidian Light Infantry, two Desert Legionnaires, oh, I'm sorry, two Desert Cohort, there we go, two units of Desert Cohort, one regular Slave Infantry. His general is the Numidian Noble Infantry, he has two Heavy Skirmishers and two Tribal Slingers. Then we have a Galatia force here being commanded by Juan, and he has brought eight units of Levy Freeman, seven Galatian legionnaires. General is a noble horse. He has the three Syrian archers and one Celtic slinger. And then we have Saba. Saba is being commanded by Borjamicris, Borjamicris, I think. And they have brought eight units of Masagat Marauders. Those are all of the infantry that they have. Uh, noble, sword gen uh, noble swordsman general. And he also has a bunch of cavalry out over here. Four units of the camel archers, three camel spearmen, and one unit of the Arabian cavalry. But all right, army comps out of the way. Tower's still moving up. Actually, it does look like this. Arverni over here has definitely landed. He's got some Celtic warriors up inside, already taking on these Levy Freeman javelins. Murder sticks galore. Love seeing it. Really picking them off pretty good. Let's see how many kills this unit has so far. 15 kills for that unit. This unit here with four this Celtic warrior unit with 141 men are already wavering. That's probably because the entire unit is, in, is not inside just yet. And they're just getting pelted as soon as they get in. Uh, we do have another unit of Celtic warriors right here getting inside. But oh boy, we got archers. Syrian archers firing in onto that unit of Celtic warriors. Javelins now coming again. The javelin volleys are just nasty so far. Levy Freeman, boys. Gotta love those javelins from the Levy Freeman. Uh, down over here, we have some of the Moscow Marauders currently just doing the same, tossing javelins, killing more and more Celtic Warrior unit down to 114. Already a very difficult attack so far from this Arverni force. Does look like it's this one player here, and then we have another player here. Um, some more of the Celtic Warriors, Levy Freeman now getting inside. We have some of the Carthaginian troops coming in here now as well. Looks like that is some of the late Carthaginian hoplites. The Libyan hop hoplites have not landed just yet, but oh boy, tribal slingers on the wall. Tribal slingers on the wall firing into these late Libyan hoplites who are getting really close up to the wall. Might want to be a little bit more careful with them. Uh, maybe send one of his infantry units over there just to block the gate in case anything comes out. Because if cavalry came out right here, right now, these Peltas would have a big, big, big problem. Um, we, like I said, we do see the Saba cavalry outside over there, but he has not really made very much of a move yet. Actually seeing a little bit of a defensive line by one of the Arverni forces right there. You can see these four units of Chosen Swordsmen making a nice little line. Uh, the Giant Ballista is still firing away. I think he's firing at a wall? Or maybe he's firing at people. He just hasn't hit anybody yet. Not really sure where he is firing. This is definitely always, especially on Ankyra, this is always a great place to volley your Giant Artillery to. to try and get a lot of kills on those guys usually there's people on the roads and you can see there is a ton of Galatian legionnaires right there but it does look like he's I don't know if he's shooting at the tower or if he's shooting at this wall I don't know where exactly he's shooting let's wait for another shot real fast before we go and take a look 
Uh, looks like he's firing... Oh, he's firing at this wall. Okay, is he using explosive shot? I think he is. And his ballista is completely wide open. There is nothing defending... Oh, God, it's gone. Well, Arabian Cavalry, you're about to get yourself at least 25 to 30 kills before the unit breaks off completely. Very unfortunate there. Uh, the Camel Archers here, the Royal Camel Archers now coming around. Looks like they're going to get ready to start shooting. But now the attackers are really focusing on just getting all of their infantry inside. So that line that was right here of the Arverdi Chosen Swords now moving up towards the tower is definitely a good idea. Get them inside. Just get them inside. Neutralize this gate. That will force the cavalry to have to go all the way back around. Uh, but we do have shots coming in. Libya Peltas taking a lot of losses. This unit already down to 62 Pretty sure the Tribal Slingers, 26 kills for them, but the Royal Archers really starting to get some shots. Royal Camel Archers, I should say. Uh, back over on this side, Celtic Warriors still up in the fight. We actually have some Chosens now joining the fight. Chosen Swordsmen coming in here. Doing okay. I mean, they're just starting to get in there, so hopefully they will be able to get some really good kills. But it does, it does look like this army is pretty much trashed unless he moves some of his units down over here, which definitely looks like there is a lot more Arverni over here than just one army coming in on this side of the settlement. Uh, horse archers are coming around a little bit further. Still getting more shots, more shots here and there. Let's see what their kills are so far. Five, 12, four, and six. So, so far, okay kills. The ballista crew, unfortunately, has been completely annihilated. Arabian cavalry, 39 kills. So they let one man go out of that unit. Just one man to go home and tell the story, I guess. Uh, now we have the horse archers coming over here towards the Carthaginian general. He might want to do something. That's going to be bad. Because we got four horse archers coming over there. That could be devastating for the general, especially if he loses it this early on in the battle. But all right, back over here. Saba Mascot Marauders, 80 kills for that unit. This unit here with 45. Some more Chosen Swordsmen coming up into the settlement. Another unit of the Celtic Warriors, unfortunately, just wavering away here. Only 48 kills for them. But they are starting to break through on this side. Finally starting to get through this front line of the Levy Freeman. Archers are still just flying all over. Uh, that unit, they have 10 kills there, 14 there, 12 there. So actually not as many kills as I thought. I guess their infantry has just really done that good of a job. We got Levy Freeman right there, 70 kills. This unit here with 69, giggity. That unit right there with 70. So actually, front line, Levy Freeman, not bad. Not bad, but especially against Celtic Warriors and now the Chosen Swordsman. They're actually holding up pretty substantially. It's kind of surprising. I mean, the Archer Fire obviously helping them out just a little bit. But uh, over here, yeah, the entire... Whatever was over here, not the entire. But what we have over here is really just pressing in to the settlement there. We have the Elephant General. He is rumbling around out here trying to catch up to the Horse Archers. That's not going to work, bud. That is not going to work. He used Trample or used Stampede, tried to get them, but very unfortunate. The Horse Archers now running away. We have actually some of the melee cavalry over there as well. Uh, but now the Horse Archers have a perfect rear shot in onto these Elephants, and they're probably going to start dropping them pretty soon. Did they take over this gate? They have not taken over this gate. Press press this gatehouse. Neutralize this gatehouse, at least. There was a ram. Yeah, I mean, this one of the units could have taken this ram, gotten up here. But hopefully the attackers do start pressing in onto this, uh, onto this front gatehouse here. Start neutralizing it. At least they won't be taking the shots from the, from the arrow towers there. But we do have the tribal slingers firing away. 31 kills for them. Back over on this front line for the Galatian force. The Levy Freeman are starting to break apart. I mean, it's bound to happen. Celtic Warriors doing the initial damage. Wow, look at that. Chosen Swords, 135, 191, 192. Very nicely done. Uh, we do have the Gallic Hunters over here now for Arverni. Still have yet to start firing. Looks like all of them still have their full ammo. And the Arverni Ballista over here, 27 kills so far. Not sure exactly where he's firing again. Probably firing in here. At least that would be an opportunity to be able to fire. Do see that targets are taking fire. So I think he is firing here. Celtic Slinger's taking some losses. 27 for them. Uh, Slyrian Archers here with 12. 60. This unit here with 88. So starting to get some uh, good kills. Good kills. But this front over here is really starting to fall down. We have some... Le De I'm sorry. Wow. We have some Galatian Legionnaires now branching off from the street. Going to come over here and back up this mercenary Masakop Marauder. Unit that has 78 kills so far total. Uh, I think the general's dead, though. Yeah, look at that. African War Elephant. So Carthaginian general is dead. I saw that little yellow arrow point down over here in the corner. And usually that signifies that a general has died. And with only being one unit, one elephant left, yeah, the general's dead. So very unfortunate for the Carthaginian general. 
He might have had a bit of something if he was able to get inside, but unfortunately they were not able to get any of the walls or the gates uh, before the elephant died. So that is very rough. Uh, back over here, the giant ballista for Arverni, one of the Arverni forces again being taken out by Arabian cavalry. So he's just killing up a whole bunch of uh, ballista crews. Another unit of Chosen Swordsman out here. Looked like a full unit of Chosen Swordman, or Chosen Swordsman, not Sword Band. This is Dicini. Suffering a huge charge. Camel Spearman not getting any much kills, though. One, one, and zero. So again, Royal Archer's probably going to come in, get some more shots. Back over here, we have more of the Royal Archers coming up over here. Looks like, okay, so they have taken over this gate. That's good. Arverni immediately, good job. Immediately shuffling his archers inside, but unfortunately, this Arverni army's archers are still out here completely, completely undefended. Oh, no. Arabian Cavalry. You're about to get a lot of kills, bud. A lot of kills. Smashing into those Gallic Hunters. My God. Now, the horse, let me check real quick. He could definitely use these horse archers as a, as a melee unit as well. But yeah, this Arabian Cavalry. Clear you, oh God, creeping up to 200, doing so much damage to these Celtics. Well, these Gallics, I mean, so much damage. Wavering one, this one probably going to break off completely. Down to 56 men. 241 kills with Arabian Cavalry. That's massive. Let's get back up over here on the front, see how Masesli is holding so far. Uh, Desert Vigile is still holding. They've only lost about 70 men, so not terrible. Slave Infantry here down only 58 men. They have actually 17 kills. Taking on these Libyan infantry. The Libyan Peltas up in melee with only one kill. Uh, this unit of Libyan Peltas right there, 23 kills. But all oh, the trouble slingers are firing over here. Firing into this Libyan Peltas who are just, I mean, they're throwing their javelins. They're trying to do everything they can. But the light infantry here, Numidian light infantry, just firing away. Getting into more of those Libyans from the Carthaginian force. Difficult, difficult fight so far, but the ooh, Vigilates are starting to waver. We have the Slave Infantry charging. Oh, he had two. He had two Slave Infantry. My apologies. I thought he only had one. So add another one to his army composition there. But all right, back out over here. One of the Gallic Hunters looks like they've come back. The other three not look. Actually, no, he's got a second one right there. Get inside. Get inside. But this, oh, no, this side is fall. This side has completely fell. And the defenders are going to be able to start pressing out over to here. Let's see what he's up. 326 kills. Arabian Cavalry. That's insane. The Osworn General out here now getting just absolutely obliterated. Being put into or made into a pincushion by all of these Royal Camel Archers. Let's see what he's at. Oh, the, the, oh, the Arabian Cavalry just broke. Interesting. I don't know what made them break, though. I don't know exactly what made them break, but they did finally break. 300 plus kills very nicely done with the arabian cavalry but these horse archers 41 53 47 and 68 very nicely done this one chosen swordsman unit that was left outside has been taken out as well we do actually have a unit of the median light infantry sitting outside here they are unfortunately just getting picked down by the arrow tower right there they have 28 kills still 70 men left in the unit maybe just charge them over here try and get some kills on those late libyan peltas uh, late libyan uh, hoplites i should say but back over here, the Masesli is just really doing a fantastic job holding at this line. Really great job at this point. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so we have some of the Peltast here still firing away. They have 32 kills. This unit there with 93, good amount of kills. Uh, this unit of Peltast is still involved in the melee. Only eight kills, though. I get them back out. They definitely have javelins. Get them back out of that fight. Pull them back to here. Let them start firing. Could get a lot of kills with those Peltast. Really could get a lot of kills. Uh, but Galatia now starting to fold down the line here. Getting into these Arverni Chosen Swordsmen. This unit is doing well. Currently winning the fight so far. 95 kills for them. The Galatian Legionnaire they are fighting has 74. Uh, we do have a bit of pressure coming through here. 
Actually, Gallic Hunters, nice position there with the Gallic Hunters firing in onto these Desert Legionnaires. They're firing in onto the shield side, which is true, but they are definitely getting some really good kills. First unit now gone, second unit on their way out here as well. Uh, the Galatian Legionnaire that broke 82 kills. This unit here was 66, still holding on to that morale for time, but I don't think they're going to be able to hold it for very much longer. The Arverni Archers here, uh, 27, 132, 53, and 108. So they are really starting to get some good shots. Now, actually, they've changed. They're firing over here into the Mesesley front line. So Carthage is going to be able to start powering their way through here. Uh, they definitely have to keep worrying about the Numidian infantry. Look at that, 100 kills. They've only lost 26 men. I think that math is correct, 26 men out of that unit. This unit of Tribal Slingers, 32 kills, just firing in onto the flank. Firing in onto the non-shielded side of all of this Carthaginian force. He's just brute forcing. Carthage is now literally just trying to brute force his way through here with the adding, uh, with the assistance of the Gallic Hunters. He may actually be able to get through there. Yeah, final unit of the Numidian Light Infantry that were on the front line now wavered away. But now we have some Desert Legionnaires going to come in, hold this front line even more. I'm wondering if we're going to see these heavy skirmishers get up here and get involved. Tribal Slinger, 68 kills. Skirmishers, 0 and 0. So they still have full javelins. Uh, back out over here, Arverni still has more of the Chosen Swordsmen out here. Looks like they're actually caught up to the uh, Horse Archers. Maybe they're using them as actual cavalry now. No, they still have their bows in their hands. Uh, but these three units of the Horse Archers, 78, 76, 77, all with OK kills, 111, 159 there. This unit here with 114. So Saba's going to have to be a little bit more, paying a little bit more attention. Get out of shield wall. Get some good kills. Kill these horse archers. They killed your general. I'm pretty sure the Oath Sworn general died over here. Yeah, I don't see his banner. I only see one general left for the attackers. Balance of power is in favor a little bit of the defenders, but it's not tremendous. It's really not tremendous. So, I mean, only one general, though, on the defenders, on the attacker's side. Still looking pretty rough, but all right. Camel Spearman again. Big rear charging onto the back of these Libyan head. Oh, oh, God. That was huge. Made that late Libyan hoplite unit just completely disappear in the sea of camels that just came in. 46, 57, 52. This horse archer cavalry back here, the Royal Camel Archers, getting rid of both of those units of uh, Chosen Swordsmen. So very unfortunate again. 166, 134, 111, and still 79 here. They have 20 more kills from the last time we saw them with only 59. Um, back here in the middle, Arverni is getting some pretty good pressure. More Celtic Warriors and Chosen Swordsmen up on the front, but we have Javelins coming in again onto these Chosen Swords, and they are getting some really nice side and rear shots. So flank and rear shots into that Chosen Swordsman unit. Let's wait for another bit of a volley here. Come on, throw them. There they go. Oh, that was it. Nope, they still... Uh, a couple. Nope, they're done. They are done. Mascot Marauder is going to come on over here and collect up another unit. Libyan Infantry charging in. 144. Ooh, we had a little bit of a... Wow, that was, that was a little bit of lag there. 144 to 96 Libyan Infantry. 124 kills, though. But the attacker's now open here. So, I mean, the attackers could start flooding up this way. Just keep what's over here holding for the time being and really start pressuring up in the middle here. I say I would feel that that would be a good opportunity for them to try and at least I mean the town center is right there The town center is right over there if they can brute force or at least force their way up this way Maybe get a couple more units to hold off on the flank that side maybe to keep Mesesley at bay for a little bit uh, But the cavalry outside looks like they're gonna make their way back around Come back inside the settlement there horse archers now up closer to the walls or are they firing? No, it looks like they're just gonna keep on passing by which, I mean, if he wanted to, he could leave some of them if they still have ammo. He could definitely leave all, all of them or some of them at least back here firing into the backs of the Arverni forces. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, back up over here, though, Galatia is still holding the front line. 154 for that Legionnaire unit. Second unit in reserve, 148. Wow. Good amount of kills. Chosen Swordsman starting to creep up there, though. 67 kills for them. 64 for this unit. We have the Gallic Hunters that have shifted their way down just a little bit further. Maybe they're going to fire at the General. That is possible. Speaking of Generals, we have the Noble Swordsman General up near the front line fighting-wise. Gallic Hunters are actually firing into the Massacot Marauders again. Good angles being used there by the uh, Arverni Archers. He might want to start firing. Actually, uh, Syrians, let's see what they're at. 72, 39... 
109 and the slingers there with 120 so the archers and slingers definitely still have more ammo over on this side maybe the archers want to start firing at these galax the galax look like they're starting to return fire or at least start firing at the uh, syrian archers there for galatia the slinger unit down to 29 men left in the unit still 120 kills very very nicely done uh, back around over here does look like Masasli is now starting to press in desert legionnaires getting into these libyan infantry did the rest of the saba cavalry come inside he did so the Saba Cavalry did come around back inside. He's got his horse archers sitting over here too. Looks like maybe they're just going to hang out over there. See if any other attacks or any other uh, positive things that they can do. The Noble Horse General though just sitting there in the middle is just kind of begging to get shot. But it does look like the attackers are currently focused on trying to shoot at the Noble Swordsman General. We have the Desert Legion Legionnaires retreating. Here comes the Camel Spearmen again. Looks like they're going to try and get a good charge. Oh, this could be a big charge right there. Chosen Swordsmen are about to get hammered. No, they're not. They're not. Or are they? No. They're charging over here. Oh. Big hit into these late Carthaginian hoplites. Rebounding off of that, getting into the late Libyan... I'm sorry, the Libyan infantry and an African pikeman there. And that, the Noble Sword General. Yep, big charge. Chosen Swordsmen, cavalry is really going to start raining in some kills here. Definitely going to start getting some good kills. Libyan infantry charging forward though, maybe going to try and keep these camel spearmen at bay, maybe try and lock them into melee. Uh, African pikemen now moving forward again. They did get out of their, their pike formation or pike phalanx, which is definitely good because it's going to allow them to move even faster. Uh, maybe the pikes turn this way and start pressing into these legionnaires. That's possible. That is definitely a possible thing that he could do. Uh, but with the cavalry still rumbling around, these pikes might want to put them back down. Might want to get those pikes back down there. Another big charge coming into these Chosen Swordsmen. And now we have Camel Spearman coming around over on this side. Is he going to try and help Galatia out? I mean, I don't really think Galatia needs a whole lot of help at this moment. But the Camel... Nope, they're coming in. Camel Spearman coming in. They are going to try and break through there. Maybe they're going to try and break through these Chosen Swordsmen to get into the rest of the Arverni Archers there. Do have a little bit of Chosens there. 147 and 25 there. But they look like they're just pushing right through. Yeah, they didn't really knock down a whole lot, which kind of is working against them because they're trying to break through them, and they're just dying. So, yeah, very unfortunate there for those two units of Camel Spearmen. They had maybe an opportunity to get some good kills, but it does look like they are going to be gone. There they go. Off of the battlefield now. Uh, we do still have the Noble Horse General there for Galatia. Let's see what he's going to do. He's just going to keep rear charging over here. Oh, 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 actually, flank charge. Flank charge into some more of the Celtic Warriors, knocking them down. Getting some good kills. Let's see what the general's at. Where's his banner? There it is. He is at 108 kills. Galatian Legionnaires there, 284. This unit here, 226. But the Galatian army is pretty much gone now. He's got some Levy Freeman, two units of Legionnaires, and his three units of uh, archers. And obviously the general who's getting a nice... There you go. Nice rear charge onto these Libyan infantry and the, and the uh, African pikemen, I should say. So very nice charge there by the Galatian general. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Yep, Carthaginian hoplites were trying to catch him, but nope, he was able to get away. So now we have, this is open for the attackers. This is going to be open very soon for the attackers as well, because those, yeah, they broke. So now we have chosen swordsmen that have the ability to come this way. I think they can send units in this way, and they do have a Carthaginian force starting to make their way up the road here, led by some late Carthaginian hoplites. Still the African pikemen over here just destroying a unit of camel spearmen. They charged in onto pikes. Where's the... Wait a second. That still said... Oh, no. It said African pikemen. I thought that still said Libyan infantry. I thought the Libyan infantry all broke. Yeah, I think they did. But all right. Ooh, we got the Arverni archers again. Starting to pick up some good numbers. Firing in onto these desert legionnaires. And the legionnaires are definitely firing at the African pikemen. Trying to whittle, whittle them down. Uh, with the appealer. Now they're going to charge in. We have some legionnaires coming in on this side. Some cohort there. Another unit of legionnaires. So they're going to catch these pikes out. Unfortunately, this pike unit is going to be destroyed uh, as these legionnaires come in on this side here. Rear charge there, and they're going to be out of here. Very unfortunate, but it is what it is. Pikes, I mean, they're good, but they're not very versatile once you put them in pike formation. They kind of stay there. And then having to get them out of pike formation and then put them back into pike balance, it's 
it can be annoying. It's another one of the reasons why I'm not a huge fan of using pikes. But all right, African pikemen are gone. We have cavalry again charging in onto some African pikemen. I don't think they're doing very well. 147 for the pikes, 113 for the camel spearmen. But we do have some of the heavy skirmishers have come up over here now. Firing into the Carthaginian hoplites that are coming over here. African pikemen just getting absolutely destroyed. Uh, we do have the Arverni Chosen Swordsman over here now starting to capture up this tower, which is definitely going to be very helpful for them, at least for the last couple of units that they have. But look at this. Chosen Swordsman, is he going to try and come through here? We have javelins left. He's only got one kill, so he might have javelins. Let's see. That would be perfect. That would have been perfect to fire in onto that general. Oh, he missed it. But he could actually come around this way. He could most definitely come around that way and get into the back of that general and hold him in there. Javelin volley, there you go. He's hitting some of the royal archer, royal horse archers. Oh, good God, those camels. Big time damage. Big time damage. Charge one is 16, not the greatest, but I mean, it's a horse archer unit, but they're still good in melee. Melee, uh, melee attack 26, weapon damage 35, armor's 45, not bad, but they still walked away with 222 kills before they're going to, yeah, they're going. They are definitely going to get removed. Uh, balance of power has definitely shifted in favor of the attackers for sure. We have the Osworn General left. We still have some more Celtic Warriors, actually. Another unit of Celtic Warriors. Pretty full. Pretty full unit. Uh, maybe come over here and capture up this gate or let's neutralize it. That is one of the things that I, I, I try to uh, say to you guys. Even if you don't capture the gate, neutralizing it is huge because the, archers, the archer towers will stop firing at you. So even if you're not able to capture it completely and have it become under your control, at least neutralizing it is definitely a, a, an avenue you want to go. Archer fire continuing to come in. 203, 184, 149, and 125. We actually have some African pike. I'm sorry, Lake Carthaginian hoplites chasing down some desert legionnaires. Looks like they were going to try and come over here and uh, combat the Celtic warriors, but... Nope, that, that uh, Carthaginian Hoplite just kind of walked into a trap. Legionnaires coming in onto their backs there, but it does look like actually the Legionnaires are going to fall back. Maybe they're going to throw some more Javelins. Uh, back over here, this is all pretty much tidied up. So yeah, it's looking looking kind of grim for the attackers now, but we still have Chosen Swordsman and a unit of uh, Lee Carthaginian. Oh my god. Wow. Big time charge there by the horse archers. 113 for that unit, 120 there, 175. Very nicely done. Chosen Swordsman now falling back. Looks like he's going to try. Oh, the Noble Horse got into the archers. Oh, I missed that. The Noble Horse General now getting into the Arverni archers. Chosen Swordsman trying desperately, I guess he's trying desperately to get back over here to try and save his archers. Maybe send another unit this way to try and keep this general locked in. But the general is 315 kills now. Here comes the camel archers again. Get a rear charge. Oh, no, they're facing the uh, Carthaginian hoplites. But again, big mass charge there. Camel archers, they're going to come in and get involved as well. Yep. Noble horse general still there. 24 men, 326. But now the camel archer is going to get in. And that's going to be the end of the uh, archers there for the attackers. Our Verney archers being taken out. That is huge. Absolutely huge. Very well done. 372 with a general. Very good. Down to 23 men. Uh, but we do have, I mean, still the Osworn general. Some more chosen swordsmen there. Celtic warriors still around. That lop, that hoplite unit. I said lop light. That lop. <laughs> I did it again. That hoplite unit getting taken out. And now, yeah, here comes the rest of the horse archers. This one horse. Yeah, that's going to be the end. So we got the Osworn general still sticking around. He's going to try and fight as much as he can. Going to get charged into, though. Big charge again by the Royal Archers. Second unit coming in and the Noble Horse coming in. So all of this cavalry just piling in onto this Osworn General. Very, very rough. And the rest of the line just broke behind him. So the rest of this Masasely units are going to be able to be in the uh, in the fight as well. Uh, but that's going to be the end. I don't see any other attacking units left. So solid battle, solid defense. Uh, mistakes were definitely made. Mistakes were absolutely made, which, I mean, it happens. It happens sometimes you lose track of your archers, you don't see what's going on, which happens to everybody. But it does look like this is going to be a devastating victory for the attackers. Oswan General, 78 kills, trying to do everything he can, but he is wavering away. 
Uh, this shows that Swordsman Unit 126, they'll probably come back. Unless they're being attacked as they're walking through, which it looks like they are. They had 126, now they're down to 122. Tribal Slinger's going to come on over here. Are they going to charge in? Nope. Shows the Swordsman running away. General's still holding on. He broke 100 kills. So there you go. O Sworn General, 100 kills. Not bad. <coughs> uh, but yeah, that is going to be the end. Final 27 seconds. Let's just stick in here and see how the fighting goes here at the end. Oh, they killed a camel. That's good. They killed a camel. That's going to be it. Nine seconds left. Chosen Swordsman being chased. Yep, they're going to be gone. The noble, actually, the Noble Horse General was starting to waver there. I don't know if he died. But a costly victory for the defenders. Let's take a look at the ending Karma's army compositions and kills. There we go. Uh, so we'll take a look at Juan here first. 2080, 2,387 kills. He played his Galatia, and he was the one that sent the replay in. So thank you very much for sending it on over. Uh, 403 with his general slingers 120 his archers 121 and 120 galatian legionnaires uh 157 289 157 229 so three out of the seven not really doing that well kind of getting close to 100 but not getting over 100 uh the levy freeman i mean 70s 82 so some of the same 69 giggity you're the winner right there you win uh getting in with borgia borgia macross borgia macross maybe uh, playing as Saba, 2,410 kills. Looks like he had the most kills in the match he did. 42 with his general. Horse archers, 383, 206, 159, 256. Wow. Even though, I mean, the Arabian Cavalry there, 351. A lot of that was archers, though. He did take out the two ballista crews, but a lot of archers. Uh, Camel Spearman, 116. Mascot Marauders, 151, 118, 145, 106. So, again, some of them doing okay. Some of them not doing very well. And then we have Jacob, 22, with Miss Aisley, 1698. 25 with his general. Skirmishers, 190. Uh, his slingers there with 143. Desert Cohort, 173. Legionnaires, 143, 214. So a couple of them again doing okay. Uh, but his light infantry here, 233, 105. Very nice. So two out of the four of them doing good. And the slave infantry top unit was 28. Getting into the attackers, we have Nitric here with one of the Arverni forces, 1560, general zero kills. Uh, his archers didn't really get a whole lot. Chosen Swords, 246, 207, 261, 119, 128. So five out of the seven, right? Seven? Five out of the eight, sorry, of his Chosen Swordsmen doing pretty good. Not too bad. Celtic Warriors, 188 there. The other three, unfortunately, not a whole lot. Second Arverni force, Kelly Swada here. With 2,276 kills, 123 with the general. Archers, 166, 211, 188, 150. So those must have been the archers that got inside the settlement. Uh, Celtic Warriors, 155, 93. The Chosen Swords, 123, 164, 104, 150, 124. And the Levy Freeman there with 59. And then we have Paradox here playing as Carthage. Unfortunately, his general got murdered completely by the horse archers of Saba. Uh, his Peltast, 96, 81, so a couple of them doing all right. His African Pikeman, 151. Libyan Infantry, 254, 106, 173. Uh, his late Carthaginian Hoplites, 97. And the late Libyan Hoplites top unit there was 85. But all right, guys, there you go. End of the battle replay for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Make sure to hit the like button, drop a comment down below, share the content around, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new to my content or even if you've been watching it for a little while. Click that button, guys. But all right, that is going to be the end for me. So have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, until the next one.